Let's take a listen to what Rob had to say here. The whole process feels bad, doesn't feel good. I feel bad for Bronny from the standpoint of where people will look at him where if this was on his own merit, Chris, and and I'm saying on his own merit and anybody drafted him and he worked his way through or whatever worked through it, it was, I think he would have had a better situation or a better chance without having people wear this on him that the only reason he's there is his dad. And people aren't going to say it. A lot of people aren't going to say it publicly because LeBron still has power and has a big name and a lot of guys. But I talked to a lot of former players who just to me said that this doesn't feel right on the way that this was handled, all the conversation about it. Everybody knew. I told you this months ago that he was going to the Lakers. There was no doubt in my mind at well, all, we both said, yeah, 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 how this was going to play out, and that's the part that that I, I'm talking about when I look at the uh, down the road and and the way we look at it. Did Bronny get in strictly? And we don't. And and you know, your guess, you're guessing. I'm guessing. You think maybe it was just all on Bronny, and and it was all merited, and there's nothing no, funny I, about I, it. Definitely nepotism played a role. Okay, there is no question okay. about it. So yeah, I, I'm I not okay. I'm say not that. okay. But I, my thing is, I I, I don't want to hear the nepotism card played when people. And maybe you, like you said, you said you've been critical. That's fine. But I don't want to hear it from people that haven't said anything about the nepotism that is rampant in professional sports. Front office is a performance business as well. Uh, coaching staff is a performance business as well. And if if they Rob, you know the league and the NFL and Major League Baseball, nepotism is rampant, rampant. And so I don't want to hear when it's, oh, a player flexed his muscles. Well, the, the, the owners and the GMs been flexing their muscles left and right. I disagree. What made for- Steve Belichick qualified to be a defensive coach with, with the uh, Patriots? I- he's out of the league now. Now he's coaching in college. Yeah, the, the difference here is when we talk about earning a spot on the roster and players knowing whether or not someone truly be- belongs on a team. And that, that's the difference here. And I'm with you. I said it before, and I've said it before. Who's the coach I always talk about with the Chiefs, who was the golf player? Um, I talk yeah, about Todd, it. I'm, Todd, uh, Haley. Todd, Todd Haley. Todd Haley. I've said it yep. a million times, Chris. You've heard but me on this an, show. That's, that's an example. I know. Like, Look, if y'all going to cut out nepotism, then cut it out then. Yeah. So you heard what he had to say about former NBA players being upset with it. I don't think it's just former NBA players. I think they're players in every single sport uh, that are, that are not that are not happy with this. As I said before, there's some that are all for, right? And I gave you some examples of people uh, that see absolutely nothing wrong uh, with this. Where do I land on this? Look, um, as a parent, and I'm sure some of you watching this show are also parents. Uh, you want the best for your kids, right? You want the best for your kids. You want to ensure that. You give them every opportunity that you can and they have a leg up in life if they can, right? To go on go on and live a better life than you. I think that's what all parents want. Um, so a lot of us feel that way. However, um, there's some of us out here that also want our kids to earn it. Now, what do I mean by that? Earning it in the sense that, look, you put in the work and you deserve to be here. You deserve to be here. Now, coming from my culture as um, Ebos, it really comes down to the, the 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 parent. But generally, Ebos are very industrious people, right? Most of them are entrepreneurs. Most of them. If I can look at my family now, I can tell you they are multiple millionaires. I'm not talking about like me. I'm talking about like uncles. Multiple guys. There are multiple guys that have business. Multiple. Uh, it's, it's more than five, right? It's a lot because they're very industrious people. And in our culture, it's like some of them may come from wealthy homes, but that doesn't mean you're promised a damn thing. You got to go out there and earn it. If you listen to a, a player like Shaq, Shaq reminds me of an Ebo dad. Shaq is like, look, I'm rich. Ain't no we rich. I'm rich. 
You got to go out there and earn it. Now, I can give you some uh, 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 stipends or whatever uh, allowance, but don't be expecting nothing remarkable from me. You got to go out there and earn it. Whereas there are other people, whether or not their kids are qualified or not, they're going to do every single thing that they can to ensure they have the best seat in life. So really, it all comes down to how you see and how you view uh, parenting. Here's what I think. I think that a kid will have more satisfaction for whatever they earn if they 100% earned it, number one. Number two, they, they will respect that thing more. But if you just simply give it to them or use your connections to open all the doors in life, then that thing that they got, they may not appreciate it because they themselves didn't really, really have to sweat for it. And that's the difference. There's a difference between spending daddy's money that he gave to you versus your money that you earned.